Hi, good evening everyone. I'm Melissa Harris Lacewell. James Carey is my partner and tonight is my birthday. <laughs> So I'm not exactly sure how to feel about the fact that my birthday party is at the Rusty Nail, um, but I understand that the Rusty Nail is a really fabulous location, so thank you so much for having us and uh, for giving me a chance to celebrate here. I just want to take a, a second to, and besides, how many have a bad birthday in New Orleans? It's got to be all in this. Uh, not possible. Um, I just want to take a moment to introduce you uh, to James Perry. I met James actually just after Hurricane Katrina. I had fallen in love with the city of New Orleans more than a decade before. Um, when I was in school, my best friend in school introduced the city to me. She's a native, um, lives on the West Bank. And like much of the rest of the country, I watched Katrina devastate New Orleans from afar. I actually watched it in Washington, D.C. Um, and like many other people, I felt a deep and complete and immediate commitment to the city. But I'm a political scientist, I'm a college professor, I'm a bit of a political pundit. I don't, in other words, have a lot of usable skills. Um, but I did what I could and spent a lot of time here in the city. And one of the very first people that I connected with, who I co-authored with, who provided opportunities for my students to be in service here in this beautiful city was James Perry. James and I worked together, we were colleagues and friends for years, and I can tell you a million stories about why I think he should be mayor from those years. From his commitment to public policy, his commitment to equality, his never giving up on this city, even in the days immediately following the disaster when so many others had given up. But I don't want to tell you those stories, I want to tell you just a tiny bit about what I got to know about James Perry after I became the girlfriend, because sometimes those stories are the ones you never get to hear. The first is uh, that I learned uh, about James was when I first saw his house, a home that had been a blighted home before Hurricane Katrina, but which he made a choice to buy and start to work on renovating, and then a home which had a great deal of damage during Hurricane Katrina. So by the time I saw it, I have to say I was distressed. And I thought, how is it possible that you are living in these circumstances? And he said to me, Melissa, many people in my city are living in these circumstances. And what I learned about James as I watched him put that home back together piece by piece is one that he understands the suffering of people in this city in a very personal way, in an empathetic way, not just a sympathetic one, but also that James sees beauty and possibility even when things look very hopeless. The second story I learned is about the fact that James was a lifeguard as a young person in this city. He was um, trained as a lifeguard and on his very first day there was a drowning, a near drowning, and he and his fellow lifeguard jumped in and saved a young man's life. And one of the things I have learned about James is that that is a perfect metaphor for who he is. Like a lifeguard, he will sit in the chair and just watch if things are going well. If things were going well with the recovery in New Orleans, James probably would stay in his work, in nonprofits, in advocacy. He probably would just do his part there. But when something that he is committed to is in danger, like that young boy who was drowning that day, James is willing to jump into the water risk his own life to save those who are drowning. And so similarly, as he looks at this city, and he sees that in so many ways it's drowning, he's willing to jump in to save it. And the very, very final thing, as I will say, the reason, maybe more than any other, that I love James Perry and believe in his capacity for this city is that he has a very strange and wonderful habit. He simply does exactly what he's gonna say, what he says he's gonna do, every single time. He won't always tell you what you want to hear. Trust me, I know this is the girlfriend. <laughs> and he won't promise more than what he can deliver, but whatever he says he's going to do, he does it. If it's as simple as call, he calls. If he's not going to be able to make it, he lets you know. And for me, I think that at the most basic level, you want a political leader, you want a leader of your city, who whatever they're going to do, you can believe what comes out of their mouth. And I can tell you that I believe what James Perry says. 
and I believe in James Perry. So it is my great pleasure to introduce James Perry to all of you.